How fast can it lap Sukuba? Episode 1, The White Van Man. Hello, good evening and welcome back to the House Bonds World YouTube channel. Tonight, I am going to start a new motor racing series where in each episode I'm going to take a new vehicle in the Assetto Corsa Racing Simulator and race it around one of the most iconic Japanese motor racing circuits to scuba. Now I've picked Assetto Corsa because it has the to scuba circuit. Now back, back, right going back to my roots I was very much more of a hot lapper than a racer and back in the Forza and Gran Turismo days to scuba was the go-to circuit for me and my mates and competition was fierce and tough and it didn't come down to temps it come down to thousandths of a second and the Evo time attack cars going around that circuit it's still one of my best memories of racing to this day now in this series I'm going to take a vehicle out each week and as in my day job I've been moving loads of computer kit and I have been a white van man for the last few days I thought I'd throw the Ford Transit van round to scuba so why to scuba why not the Nord's Chief why not another famous racing circuit it's a short lap it's quick it's fast it's technical and it's not as easy as a track as it looks and to get a good lap out of it you've got to hit every apex and corner absolutely spot on anyway let's get on with our very first episode racing the ford transit van round to scuba enjoy jump into the vr headset so um, there we go right so we're in the van and we're going to get it into first gear <laughs> i'm reaching down for the gear stick bits of player on my logitech right in all seriousness let's see how quickly we can get this round Bit of a wheel spin off in first gear, building it into second, third gear now, into fourth. We're just going to do this will be our sighting lap, we'll get the tyres warm and we'll see how far, oh sorry, see how fast I can get round this circuit. So we're coming up into the first right hander and a break early there in the white transition. Just letting it scrub round and I'll be on the power again. Now the torque curve of uh, this van isn't brilliant. And as you get up the revs, you sort of hit a barrier. So, but holding momentum in this is king. That's where the time is going to come from. So I think a 125.4 is currently my fastest time around the circuit. Let's see if we can beat that. So I'm going to try and uh, hone in now because we are coming up to the hairpin. Maybe braking just a little bit early there. Getting it turned in tight and fully on the power now. And then it build all the way into third gear. I'm not going to change yet, not yet, not yet. Pushing it into fourth now, just over 4,000 RPM. Now we could go for fifth gear, but I'm going to hold it in fourth and I'm going to start getting it turned in, just balance it on the throttle and now foot to the floor, I've welded it into the bulkhead and we're keeping the foot buried and really it's how brave we are at the top here, when can we break? On the brakes, then the transition, scrubbing, scrubbing, and back on the power now. Once again, full power's down, full power's down. Changing just over four grand, no point in holding it in gear. And here, it's pretty easy to get the speed off this. Oh, that was actually a nice transition into that. I was able to fully get the power down 
They want to get turned in real early, back off slightly, still on the power, into fourth early there, but let's see if it works out for us. Now we're going to follow this just this edge here, and the braking here is key because if we don't get the power, the speed off there, sorry, we end up just going round, full power down. I don't know whether I could save more time there. Holding that gets just a little bit longer, but you get past four grand and it really starts to drop off. Again, I'm going to hold fourth, no point changing to fifth. Start getting it turned in, just roll off slightly, roll into the corner. Can we hold this one out? We're drifting a little bit wide. Really picked up the curb that time, crossed the line. Once again, how like can we leave it? Well, I've drifted out a bit that time. I don't think that was the best entry into that I've had yet. So again, going over four. Can we keep the power going? Yep, yeah, that's good, that's good. Right, let it. Oh, that was nicely done. That's probably one of the best entries I've had there. Keep the power down and foot's welded to the floor. And here, how like we breaking off. Getting it turned in and back on the power. Not too early. We don't want to ride over that curb. That weren't too bad. I don't know whether I'm cheating the time, but no, by not using all the track, it's it's hard to tell in this thing, it's so goddamn slow. So again we want to get turned in, not too early, not too late. I've, I'm not sure about that, might have got a nice radius out there. Not so much over the line, I don't know about the speed. Oh, oh. And I scrubbed it, I lost it, scrubbed all the speed off there. I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave it there. Let's, let's see what time we've got with that. I've just got a 123.974 and uh, woo! Hello and welcome to the voiceover man. My apologies for ending the video this way, but stupid silly old me forgot to record more than two audio sources. So I thought I didn't actually define any rules of this series and I wanted to mention that I'm going to do just six laps. But after I had that go, I was enjoying it so much, I went out and did another six laps and recorded a time of 123.802. That is going to be the time that when I do the leaderboard for the next video will go up on the leaderboard. But for this episode, 123.8 was, oh, 802 was our time. Anyway, thank you for watching this, and if you've enjoyed it, please give the video a like, give it some comments down below, and I will see you very soon in more sim-related content coming to the channel, and more Sukuba racing. Alright, thank you for watching, and I will see you very, very soon in more videos to go. Bye.